Hi, welcome to Team Woolly Sheep Reviews. And this is the charger that you've seen in the previous video. If you want to check the video out of uh, me doing some modification to this, then uh, you'll find it in my video list. And I built it with an ISDT smart charger. And it's 150 watt. These are absolutely awesome. I wanted to show you this was my my main battery charger and this is where this charger used to live it used to live right there in this big open space this is a 30 amp power supply which is plenty of power to run my Junzi i charger uh, this i charger is the 3010B, it's a 1000 watt 10S charger. So uh, with the balance board I can charge roughly 30 amps with the batteries on you. So fantastic charger, very expensive. Yeah, it's a nice charger, ideal for mini quad batteries, but if you want to charge something big on this scale, then yeah, that won't be... Uh, that will take a long time whereas this can put the power in and get you a, a reasonable charge at a reasonable rate but these ISDG chargers uh, they used to live here there's no living there on this nice open space with velcro ready to uh, take the charger anyway they're great chargers but if you're running big batteries then you want to invest in something like that which has got a good charge rate and a good discharge rate so that charger can not only put the power into the battery it can also suck the battery power out and discharge your batteries to a desired level that can actually manage a 30 amp discharge 30 amps yeah it's a good bit of kit like I said but you may notice what's this John what's this white thing here That is a smoke detector. Why do you want a smoke detector, John? Because batteries are dangerous. So what I've done, I've gone to the uh, the cheap shop, pound shop, whatever the, the local budget store is, and I picked myself up a smoke detector, which obviously fits in the box. And I put it on little stands so it stands off, but if this is unattended and I'm watching television and when my battery decides to erupt into a, a mini Mount Suvius, this alarm should go off and warn me that there's a, a potential problem. So never leave batteries unattended. And if you do plan to leave them unattended, don't be far away and make sure you've got a smoke detector near to alert you. I said, I've just got to put the fear of God into you because there is a risk of these batteries while they're charging or discharging becoming dangerous this is my internal charger that i use in the house so as it stands i can use both chargers simultaneously because they work on different main supplies but if i plugged another charger into this big open space of of charge potential then This, ladies and gentlemen, is the new ISDT T6 Lite with Battery Go Smart Charger. This is the big brother of this. And this is a 600 watt power machine. This can do everything that this can do, but it's so much smaller, it's half the size. What is it? What has it got? Well, basically, this is a 6S, and that is your output. So your balance board 
can go in there or you can plug a battery directly into it it's an XT60 socket and your standard balance connector there on this side you have the power input and oh just so happens to match this one <laughs> and you have a USB socket so you could charge your phone from there and there's a little phono socket which is your PC link for updating the firmware it is fully updatable so this can now live there I can then plug that in there I can use my box there with my balance board like so I now have one humdinger of a charger I've got three chargers so I can now charge everything <laughs> what is this gonna do for me well, let's have a look at it right as you can see it sat on top of my power supply I'm gonna power up it's a 4S battery it's an old battery I've got which I can plug it into the balance board and it immediately tells me my cell voltages right as you can see it's showing 4.12 4.13 and so on so on now if I press the button it will go into the menu structure for charging and I can scroll up by using the, the navigation buttons now if I scroll right it goes onto a quick charge so it will immediately charge but I can return from with the left button so go back in check the current I want this is a 1400 battery so press and then I can scroll up to the desired current charge charge discharge or storage it's a smart charger so you haven't got to worry about selecting balance this thing will do it all for you if you plug it in without the balance lead connector it will alert and say well i don't know what battery it is you better check the the cells and all the settings and you're doing it manually do you want to continue and then you say yes and then it will carry on charging and it will assume it's a 4s battery at whatever current so if there's no balance lead detected it will go into the manual mode so I'm going to run a charge. I can either press right or I can go to start. This is showing that it's set as a LiPo 4S. The rate of charge is 13 milliampere hours. It's charged for 44 seconds and it's in a charging mode. So it's in a fast charge mode. So it's putting a power in there. It'll run a, a, a sequence of fast charge. Then it will go into balance mode and it will finish the battery off by completing a balance cycle and it will balance all the cells as you can see this is battery is uh, pretty much charged if I press the arrow button down it's telling me my, my internal battery resistance and as you can see I've got 18 milli ohms on the top and 14.7 14.1 1, 14.1 so you can see the cell number one is 18 milli ohms which is milli ohms is, is not a lot so I wouldn't get too worried but this is an old battery and it's been an old battery that's giving me a bit of trouble and that's why it's left in the shed to be used as a test battery but as you can see 18.1 milli ohms 14.7 is um, an imbalance so I would know that one cell is starting to degrade now all of the ISDD chargers I understand do this but only after they've been plugged in for a couple of seconds or a minute for it to take a, an, an active reading. You can also press it again and it gives you the working voltage info. Uh, the 13.8 is from the power supply. It's 18 or 16 watts at the moment it's taken. Uh, it's showing 17 degrees in my shed. That is cold. It's showing the actual voltage, the, the milliwatts that's going into the battery. So at the moment it's put 960 milliwatt hours into the battery. So it's handy, it's giving you uh, quite an active data. And then you can go back to the voltage. As a comparison, I've run these side by side and it compares, if, if anything, it's quicker than the eye charger. The eye charger um, is balancing quite well from the word go, but this thing is faster and I'm getting a good balance of of battery cells at the end result so I'm quite pleased with that if anything if I was going to recommend 
spending some money this is the one to spend the money on this charger or something very similar and as you can see this one is also on charge so if I zoom in same functionality if I scroll down oh, it tells me my internal battery resistance if I scroll down it gives me my voltages in exactly the same way so as you can tell I'm really pleased with these so like I said this is something I'm going to use I can use it on site I can take it and check it in the car we'd go this was a little bit too big to travel good timing fast charge done it is now checking the cells making sure everything's stable and the charge is complete boom like I said this was uh, this, this is pretty quick thank you for watching Team Willie Sheep Reviews if you like what I do then subscribe and then you'll be updated when my new videos come out I make videos pretty regular charge complete thank you See you soon. Bye.